to welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode with Retro Nova on GTA 5. Now they have the Batmobile car, and well, the rocket boost on this can have a fun party piece if you fire at a person, well, you knock the person over. Now the first attempt doesn't go to plan, the person started running just in time, they back out to try again. This time they do get them, however, karma can be quite mean. Yes, the uh, Batmobile got caught on a bin after being launched, and well, ended up in the drink. Well done. Uh, Magnus up next on Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, uh, going for a vehicle. The thing is, vehicles in this game can be a little bit weird. Yes, they can be quite a bit weird. They can be quite a bit broken. I mean, this is not a particularly healthy vehicle to begin with, but something is very wrong with the suspension or physics. Or, or gravity, I'm not quite sure which is the most broken part, to be honest with you, but whatever part it is, it's now spinning around a great many times, and now it's on fire, and the player's kind of a little bit dead. Uh, it turns out cars are dangerous. Turns out cars, in uh, they're not the safe, they're not the safe haven in, in that game. Uh, Asiba up next on Project Cars 2, a race in the IndyCars, gets things a little bit right, ever so slightly loses the back end as it bounces across the infield, starts off at what looks like a pretty impressive roll, although the roll finishes and lands very quickly, so it just loses the back end, bounces across the grass, goes in this massive spiral and just so, so lucky, it's Daytona, it's Daytona, uh, Oval just loses the back end there, across the grass, a, such a vicious spiral before, I guess like perfectly positioned to sort of slam the car back down again to carry it. A uh, crash box net on Need for Speed Underground is uh, doing one of the street races. Now watch for a Peugeot that comes out of all of this uh, with the lead. As it's up ahead, it's driving around this corner when suddenly hits something. Not quite sure what. It hits something. Uh, it causes all sorts of chaos behind as well, but something upset the Peugeot there and the Hyundai we're driving with. Uh, just scooped a double wind underneath. A drive drive up next on Need for Speed Heat has found... The Fowl Race Ambulance Brigade. Yes, they they've they they are attending somewhere. In fact, it's got an indicator on. It's got one. It was it was, it was attending. Well, I hope it was going to somewhere rather than coming back from somewhere. Um, it's not gone well. I don't quite know how that went. I presumed like a player car, like a, a, a race car of some sort, has hit it, but no idea. Wolf Striker up next on Wreckfest with some of the worst luck I've seen at Hell Rise. Everything was going fairly well. Uh, however cannot get on the ramp, cannot make any progress forward, he got hit by everything, he's now being fired back the wrong way, gets collected by another car, is still tumbling, desperately trying to land, gets collected again before being bounced back towards the jump, might finally come to a rest, no no, we're going to get hit by another vehicle, he's going to get hit by another two cars before he's wrecked, that's basically all of the health in one near continuous crash, not quite what you want. Uh, Mac Daddy up next with the bumper car, yes, yeah, some of the silly vehicles of Wreckfest, Mind their own business. Uh, when they bounce first of a tire bundle, then of a uh, concrete barrier, and then are catapulted to orbit. Yep, that's that's them gone. A brief sort of massively stretched out jelly man before just becoming a big old rag doll. It's been launched a good number of miles clear of the circuit, I should think. Right about now, uh, Mike up next on American Truck Simulator with a problem. Yeah, well. Not a problem of the players causing, I might add. I don't know how that's got there, if I'm perfectly honest with you. That's a very, very stuck truck. And is rather blocking the road for, well, everybody. At this point, <laughs> I, I am still slightly bemused as to how on earth it ever ended up there, but it kind of is. Now, naturally, you don't have really much choice other than to try and maybe give it a boop and see if we can do something about it. I mean, that's helped. It's now at least the right way up. But, I mean, the trailer's halfway off the bridge. The cab's kind of stuck there. After a lot of bumping and a lot of shoving around, uh, the truck we're... I'll say the player truck, the tr truck we're with here, uh, is trying to nudge it clear. It's actually managed to get the other side of the, uh, of the road clear, and with a little bit of a push, does at least manage to move it. Damages their own truck a smidge, but uh, not very much more else you could have done in that particular instance, so there we go, it does get clear in the end, but uh, quite the inconvenience, shall we say. Range Rover is up next, we're on to SnowRunner now, I, I, I remember this little particular nasty bit, it's uh, a smidge difficult to get down here, now this is off towards, I think I got to upgrade point, uh, trying to head down here to pick it up, uh, he went down the uh, steeper part, there is a shallower part, you should probably have gone down and well that's a parked truck. That's, uh, that's, that's parked nose first and that is not going to be 
I mean, you could probably push it over if you got out of the truck, but <laughs> can't do that in SnowRunner. And of course, the engine's off, the winch is off. Uh, Subi fan up next, also driving around in Alaska, carrying a little bit too much speed with the Royale. Now we see all sorts of weird physics in SnowRunner. This one actually makes sense. Yes, that's far too much speed around an icy corner at a railing. And the uh, Royale, along with its trailer, actually went for a big tumble down the hill. That physics, that makes sense. Uh, Senka up next, also with SnowRunner, with, well, I say physics, not bad. Going to a new area, as you do. If you play SnowRunner, you do this fairly regularly. Uh, heading to Smithville Dam here. Uh, loads in, everything seems fairly normal. Not a multiplayer session, not going to have the car glitching out with somebody else's vehicle inside it as they reload here. However, <laughs> for whatever reason, the game has decided the truck should load on its side. No weird glitchiness, just it should load on its side. Tony Ski, however, has got the weird glitchiness in SnowRunner. Yes, this is a trailer trying to go across a bump, and the trailer becoming very angry at said thought and launching everything around the space, rather destroying the truck, and in the process, not only A, loses everything in the trailer, B, the trailer actually gets stuck in the air. I think you can pull them down if you connect the winch, they do generally unfreeze, but uh, physics certainly didn't quite know what to do at the thought of a trailer going across a small bump in all of that. Ah, good old SnowRunner. That, though, is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There's a link in the description. Uh, find at the very top of the page of the Faris Clips and Mission section, and in there you can find all the rules and how to submit them. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.